Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the fourth episode here of Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You join me here in a thunderstorm and it's a bad omen of things to come because you can see in the bottom right hand corner, they have arrived. The goblins, they're here, they're annoying and oh goodness me, I don't much like them. All right, well, let's see what we can do with these bone arrows. Oh wow. I didn't actually know that. Apparently, bone arrows can actually pierce. Nice. You love to see it, guys. Absolutely love to see it. Oh, God. I don't want to die 500,000 times in today's episode, ideally. Oh, come on, man. We can do this. We can do this without dying loads of times. You can do it. Oh my god. But yeah, guys, thank you as always for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing the series. I truly do appreciate it. If we could keep it up with the amazing support that we've been getting lately, then that would be absolutely fantastic. So yeah, we're starting off here with the Goblin Butthole Army. Yep. Yep. These guys. Ah, come on. Come on, get out of it, you stupid archer. No one likes you, stupid archers. I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. If I can avoid dying today, then that would be fantastic. Guys, last episode, we didn't die at all, did we? So that's kind of cool. I don't mind that one bit, actually. I'm like one hit away from death. Uh, oh, oh, he's like right there. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Get out of here, you embarrassment. Get out of here. Right, boom, Catherine. Thank you very much for giving me my life back. I very much do appreciate that. All right. So, yeah, we're basically defending our episode one slash episode two house from these freaking guys. And because we're in expert mode as well, I'm pretty sure that means, technically speaking, we've actually got a slightly higher amount of goblins that we need to take out before this thing is done. Absolute death and destruction befalls all of you. All right. Hello. 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 Get ruined, you butts. Oh, God, is it me or are these guys getting a little bit crazy? Get out of it. Freaking teleporting on top of my house. What is up with that? I wish I could teleport. That'd be great. I don't have a pylon network set up yet, though. So, you know. Oh, God. Come on, Python. You can do this without having to use the nurse 17,000 times. Oh, jeez. All right, come on. Oh, God. Well, uh, that's potential... Yep, that's, uh, that's definitely not the smartest thing I've ever done. Dropping down into that freaking ambush mosh pit of death. There goes my wish for a deathless episode as well. Well, okay. All right, well, the good news is we're right back to it. Ha, ha, ha. You thought you could get rid of me that easily, did you? You son of a gun. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Let's get some of these guys on. There we are. Yeah. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. Let's just get this thing freaking done, all right? Let's get this thing done. It's not the most interesting thing to watch. I mean, not unless you're in hard mode and you've got the little goblin summoner spawn in, but sadly, we're not in hard mode. It's kind of funny when you think about it, isn't it? We haven't even taken on a single boss yet. The first actual free summon we get, and it's a freaking goblin army. How often does that happen? I feel like that doesn't happen very often at all. So, yep, that's, uh... Ah! No! No! No, 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 not like that, buddy. Not like that. Will you go away? I don't much like you. Thank you. Goodbye. Come on, all of you. Come on. There we are. We're slowly getting there. The goblin army has been defeated. Let's not allow them to have the last laugh, guys. We are going to kill all of them before they get a chance of killing me and having the last laugh. No. Big no-nos. Ah, <sighs> peace and tranquility again, ladies and gents. Ha! Ah! All right, cool. So, what do we actually have going on? We don't have any hunter potions. Okay, so that means we're going to have to find the goblin tinker the old-fashioned way, which is just blind luck. So, in the last episode, we were meant to go ahead and explore the rest of the surface, but we never managed to get round to it. So, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do that now, while it is still on my mind. I mean, honestly, ladies and gents, I don't think we should have too many issues getting past the corruption and the jungle, but, you know, it could wind up being a case of the famous last words. You know, I've definitely said that before and wound up dead. Many times in the entire time I played Terraria, I've said that so many times and wound up dying. So, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. Whoa! What the heck? I, c 
can run at full speed underwater? What on earth allows me to do that? That's peculiar. Is it this? No, I can still sprint at full speed underwater. What the heck? Am I stupid? Oh! Oh! Okay. It's this! The trident does it. I did not know that. I genuinely had no idea that the trident allowed you to move at full speed underwater. That is amazing. I'm very... Oh, God. I'm very, very happy about that. Act. Oh, my God. And the happiness continues. We just got ourselves some ancient shadow armor. One bit of it. Yeah! Epic! Oh, look at this! A nice big old beach. I love a nice big old beach biome. Very, very cool. So you're telling me if I was to go ahead and just like run full speed, I should- oh, hello. I should be able to just like run into the water at full speed and then be able to get everything like with absolute ease. Oh my god! This is so much easier! Wow, that's kind of epic. All right, we've got this going on. Nice. Murderous breathing reed. Ooh. And that's about it on that side. Bloop. Yeah. All right. Honestly, I can't get over that. When was that functionality added to the trident? Was that recently? I genuinely have no idea. Like, am I stupid? Am I really that far behind on the Terraria updates? So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The almighty jungle where lions sleep tonight. No, they don't. There's no lions in this game. Can you imagine that? That'd be pretty freaking cool, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, well, come on. We're going to see what we can find here. We've got plenty of bamboo all over bleeding place. So, I guess that's kind of cool. Hello. That goes a little bit far down, doesn't it? Ew. I've always hated this kind of terrain generation, you know? It's just kind of messy. I don't like messy terrain generation like that, you know, where you just got a bunch of islands and so- Oh. Oh. Um, well, I immediately take that back. What the hell? There's like two chests around here. There's one on top of the house and one bleeding in the house. How on earth does that happen? Wow. Uh... Yeah. Oh, God. Don't you go blowing up on me, you stupid freaking beehive, and release hornets upon me. That is a big no-no. I will take that, though. Wow. That's cool. That is, like, actually cool. Okay. I mean, apparently, this seed keeps on giving and giving. I genuinely wasn't expecting to find this here today. Ah. A proper cave entrance, ladies and gents. Nice. I like it when we have proper cave entrances like this. It makes me very, very happy. All right. Anything for anything? Uh, oh, a demon altar. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Not too much else to really shout about down here, though. So, yeah. Maybe there's something on the right-hand side? Question mark. It is possible. I don't know. Depends how far down we are prepared to go. Oh! Wow! We don't even have to go far to find a queen beehive? Dude! Oh, wow. I, I, I am really starting to fall in love with this world. Oh, dudes! It's the Chinese lantern night! Nice! Okay, as far as I can remember, that means you've got increased luck, right? So if we did fishing tonight, for example, we would wind up with increased luck. As far as I can remember, that is how that works. Uh, well, the good news is we do actually have our fishing kit. So we could, if we really wanted to, we could do a little bit of fishing. Could be a nice idea. Uh, maybe when we get over to the left-hand side ocean, we can maybe give that a go. Right? That sounds like a pretty cool idea to me. Hey, you know what else is pretty cool? Finding large trees. Yeah! This is nice. I like these. I've always loved these large trees. They're like one of my favorite generate structures in the game. Uh, all right, what have we got? A ladybug minecart? Say what? All right, living loom. Nice. Absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very glad we got that, actually. It means we can get ourselves a whole bunch more furniture sets. Very cool. Uh, you know what? I'm actually kind of interested to see where this actually leads down to. So, let's drop down. Let's find out. Uh, 
Ah, basically nowhere. Eh, okay. Ooh, shell piles. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, right, ah, okay, so, uh, Fisher of Souls, oh god, our inventory, big rip on the inventory front, guys. Ah, uh, guarding step tool, can I put that in the offhand? No, I cannot. That sucks. Alright, well, do you know what, we're just gonna say sod it and go for it. We are just gonna say sod it and go for it. Boom! Alright, give me epic stuff. Come on, baby, what's our first fishy? It is gonna be a trout. Oh, got a little pink jellyfish right there. We could totally put that in a terrarium and have a little pet. Dude, that's a cool idea. I like that. I love the background. Am I the only one? Like, come on. This is really kind of special, isn't it? I'm in love with the Chinese lantern thing, dude. It's so cool. I'm also kind of becoming in love with the flink stuff. Look at him. Just going at it with the freaking demon eyes. He's just going at it with absolutely no freaking remorse at all. He's just freaking going for it. I honestly do think it's absolutely fantastic. It may even be better than the freaking slime staff, you know. Oh, swordfish. Okay. I mean, technically that is better than the trident, damage-wise, I think. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Definitely can't complain about that. We've got a crate waiting here as well. Oh my goodness, we've got so much stuff. I really should have gone ahead and done myself a favor... And brought a piggy bank along with me. That probably would have been in our best interest, right? Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Everything that we managed to get from our little fishing journey. We've got lens. We've got an iron crate in there. A swordfish. We've got tuna. Ooh, lots and lots of stuff. Do we really need two aglets? No, is the answer. Ooh, 19 damage. That is an increase of five compared to our trident. However, the trident has the added bonus, of course of adding the mobility in water so i don't think it would be a good idea to rid either one of them actually uh what i do want to do though is maybe get rid of that sapphire i might just use those bomb fishes yeet yeet there you go all right and then what else have we got here jungle grass seeds yeah i don't really need those uh there's just so much stuff all right let's open that bad boy hey journeyman bait and heart reach potions fantastic Oh my goodness. I really do feel like we should make the most out of this night before it runs out. And just see if there's any more stars. Because I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Any more, any more, any more. Yep, there's one. Oh, whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, hey, okay. We are in uncharted territory here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one of the, like, revamped oceans. Oh. Oh, man, that's cool. That is so freaking cool, dude. Uh, Any chance of... Oh, my God, there's air up here. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That's cool. Oh, boy, I think it's time to get out of it. Boom! There we are. The water walking boots I just picked up from that chest. Yes, it was a second pair of water walking boots. Uh, they're lucky, so they've got more crit chance. Yeah. Okay, not a bad little trip right there. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up the wooden crate back there. Oh, nor did we pick up the bait. <gasps> oh, no. I think we definitely need to go back there, guys. There we are. I told you I wouldn't leave him behind. What do we get there? More journeyman bait and a danger sense potion. And obviously, we've got all of this stuff to pick up as well from those bombs. All right, cool. Right, real quick, I am going to also pick up these spare water walking boots. I mean, for the simple fact that, you know, they're going to have at least some value to them, right? So, down we go. There we are. Right, now we're done with the ocean. Yeah. Plenty of epic stuff, ladies and gents. Plenty of epic stuff. Right, we definitely don't need two pair. Wait, we might do, actually. Uh, I can't remember what's needed for various other things. Let's have a look, shall we? Lava waders, which is a material. Obsidian water walking boots is also a material. Okay. So maybe it is a good idea that we keep both. You know what? Now that we've got 21 defense, I feel a little bit better about maybe going down into this place. Ooh. <laughs> Well, you guys know I usually get, like, freaking World War II-style flashbacks from this place as well. Because this place, this is a bad place. 
It is not a good place to be at all. Right, I did hear someone getting hurt. Who be- Oh god, oh god, okay. There's a golfer dude down there. Right, let's uh, let's see about killing these poor saps. Stupid antlion charges. I don't like these guys. They kill me way too freaking much. There we are. And there we are. Cool. Alright, so there we are. Yeah, the freaking golfer is like... <laughs> He's like full on next to a freaking antlion trap. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, boy. Careful. Gotta be careful of where those things are. Oh, wow. This, uh, this chest down here is like full on guarded, huh? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do real quick? I'm actually gonna go ahead and do you a little bit of a service. There you go. Yeah, you're nice and safe. How about that, huh? How about that? I actually made an NPC nice and safe. <laughs> All right, well, oh my god, yes! We can teleport to the ocean now, guys! Oh my gosh! That is fantastic! Nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm freaking chuffed with that. That's amazing. Nice. Oh, snappers. There is yet another chest, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. Hello. How's it going, little swarmer dude? Get out of here. Goodbye. Thanks. Right. Oh, my God. Another one. <laughs> A second conch. Well, if this was multiplayer, then the both of us would be absolutely freaking foaming at the mouth with excitement right about now. According to the metal detector, there is a heart crystal nearby. Oh, God. But, uh, oh, God. Okay. Yep. <laughs> but good Lord, if I can find it, I have had that show up on the detector for what seems like half the lifetime of the universe. But I can't bleed and find it. Where is it? The elusive heart crystal. I will find it, and when I do, I will consume the ever living poop out of you, you little poo. All right. Ah, oh, okay. Just be careful there, Python. Just be nice and calm. Oh, come on. Oh, God. You're going to sprout a freaking Eye of Cthulhu spawn on me, huh? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I, this really is one of those episodes where everything is happening at once, huh? Oh, goodness me. Ah, well, I still can't find the bleeding life crystal, though. Like, what? what's going on? I just... I don't understand. Could I even take on the Eye of Cthulhu tonight? Is is that something that is within my grasp? I mean, there's only one way to find out, huh? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is to go to a beach and then uh, do it. Because why not? Uh, yeah, we're doing it here, apparently. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, how are you doing there, broski? Right, I mean, yep, yep, we, we have no, oh god, we have no double jump. If I could do this without double jump, then there's something wrong with the game, clearly. Oh god, come on NPCs, maybe you could do a little bit of damage as well. <laughs> oh god, okay, okay. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine so far. Everything's fine so far. The increased defense is uh, surely quite nice. Okay, yeah. 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 Oh, God, hell's blazes. Okay, come on. 2,500 health. About a third of the way down at this point, guys. But we haven't even started to do any of the more difficult stuff yet. So, yep, there we are. There we are. Here we go. This is where it starts getting a little bit tasty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate the stage. I hate the stage so much. I hate the stage so much. I hate the stage. I hate the stage. I hate the stage. Boom. 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 Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, this is becoming quite hard, actually. Um, <laughs> he's going berserk. He's going absolutely berserk. Oh, he's dead. Get wrecked! Well, guys, if you haven't dropped a like rating right now, I don't know what's wrong with you. Get it done now. I frankly deserve it. <laughs> I didn't even have double jump. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's quite something, isn't it? I haven't even had to use any of my freaking summons today. Oh, man. How fantastic is that? All right, let's put that on right there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
I, I, I just was not expecting to take him down. I, I really wasn't. I'm absolutely gobsmacked, guys. <laughs> well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. 26 Demonite Bars is now the amount we have. And the remaining things to craft, of course, are the Malaise Yo-Yo which would be actually our first yo-yo of the series, and the Light's Bane, which of course is eventually needed for the Knight's Edge. So let's go ahead and get this thing. If I was to get the Feral Claws, I can make this into full auto swing. And because, oh my god. It's, it's absolutely ginormous. Holy moly. All right, and there's the malaise. Yeah. Can't complain about that one single bit, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fan freaking tastic. <laughs> Just fantastic, dude. I can't believe I was able to take down the Eye of Cthulhu. I'm, oh, man. Oh. <sighs> I've got to be honest, I just thought, I thought I was really underpowered to be able to do it, you know, as soon as you get double jump, then that's it, you can pretty much take on the Eye of Cthulhu, but I didn't have double jump, so, yeah, that's why I'm so surprised, I was so surprised that I was able to dodge his third phase, it's just absolutely crazy, dudes, so, do you know what, we've done the exploring, we've done events, we've done our first proper boss as well, and it wasn't even technically the first boss, it was the second boss in the game, so, yeah, next episode, we're probably going to try and go for the king slime just so you know we've got the whole progression thing going on properly but uh, yeah for now ladies and gents we're going to go ahead and end this episode here we have the dash ability now hey, hey beautiful guys thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed today's episode and you haven't already you guys know what to do drop a like i'd very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future content but for now my friends thank you very much for watching have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode